welcome once again to the Life of Excellence, and it is my honor to have with me tonight a dynamic man of God, evangelist, pastor, missionary, apostle, teacher, all rolled into one, the Reverend Bill Hurt. And now we share our last name. That's right. Yeah, we share our last name. We put the hurt on them. We put a hurt on them. And we are, are, are uh, on the second week of our revival. That's right. God has been moving, uh, hasn't he? God has moved. People have been blessed. We have killed the, the giant. You know, the devil, what kind of giant is in your life? Oh, that's good. What, what kind of giant that will hinder you from coming to church? Everybody today has got a giant. You know, people, the Bible said in the last days they would love the pleasures of the world more than the pleasures of God. Yeah. You know why? Because there's a giant in their life that's hindering them from God. People have lost the love of God in their life. People today, uh, Brother Jay, they don't fear God no more. Yes, sir. Because they have lost that joy. They have lost that peace. But, you know, I've been in this revival going on the second week, and I want you to know every night you've been preaching, kill the giant that's in your life. That David killed the, the, the giant. But see, the Bible said, greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. See, church, I want you to know today that uh, 60 years ago, Amen. God came into my life. I yeah. changed my life. You know, I used to serve the devil. When I served the devil, I fought. Uh, they they knew I was in town. But you know, when I got saved, yeah. I just changed partners, Jay. Hey. I, I want you to know the Holy Ghost came in my life, and I've been fighting that devil for 60 years. But you know one thing? I love to get on his head. I love to walk I know on you him. Do. I love to stop him. I, love, I like to let him know that I have power over him because God says greater is he that's in me than he's in the world. Whoa! Hey, did you get a message just now? I'll Whoa. tell you what. We, that's what we've been experiencing here, that power of God, that anointing of God flowing through this man of God. This is what his church is about. Now, we have been here for two weeks now, and we are waiting. Uh, we are right now in the middle of the sanctuary. We're doing this prior to the service starting because we were excited about giant slayers, weren't we? That's right. And God wants you to slay the giants in your life. As Pastor said, I don't know what giant you're facing, but giants keep people out of church, doesn't it? That's right. Giant, That's right. The giants keep people poor. That's right. Giants keep people sick. That's but right. God wants us to be giant slayers, don't you think but so? But see, the Bible said, Jay, they cast your bread upon the water, there you go. and not many days yet it'll come back to you. So church, when you give to God, remember when you give to God, you're casting your bread upon the water. And, whoa, well, my God, when you cast your bread upon the water, he said, I will bless you when you come in, and I will bless you when you go out. Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will open that door, I'll come unto him, and he can sup with me, and I'll sup with him. Church, you kill them giants that's in your life. We'll take them giants, and we'll bring them out of this altar, and we'll put our feet on them giants, and say, devil, you're a liar in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Woo! My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, that's good. I I'll tell you what, if you're not having church right where you're watching this program right now, you're not having church at all. If you're not becoming a giant slayer right now through this man of God's preaching, you will never become a giant slayer. I'm telling you, he is encouraging you. Be who you're supposed to be. Pastor, the Word of God says that we are more than conquerors. Through Christ. That means no giant should be able to defeat us. That's right. The giant, what did you just say? Keep casting your bread upon the water. Those people who keep praying, and they keep praying, and they say, well, nothing's happening. I, I think what he just said was keep casting that bread. Your prayers are going to come back answered. Keep giving. Your blessings are going to come back answered. Keep worshiping. Your worship is going to come back answered. This is the time to be a giant slayer. Man, we've been slaying some giants see, here. See, people, they make excuses. See, the Bible said they are unscrupulous, old man. Yeah. You don't have no excuse. God will laugh at your calamity and mock when your fear cometh. David, don't use that excuse in front of me. I'll look you straight in the eye, and I'll say, you don't have no excuse. I don't care. I'm 80 years old, and I'm still young. 
Yeah, I'm still climbing that mountain, and I'm still preaching the gospel, and I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm happy to know that Jesus Christ is my Redeemer, my baptizer. I want you to know, church, 60 years ago, God changed my life, and I have never looked back. I've never looked to the left. I've never looked to the right, but I look under the hill, which come in my help. The Bible said joy comes in the morning. Whoa. I, I get up in the morning, I go all day long. Yes, he Amen. does. I had, I had to go to the doctor today. I wasn't supposed to. They called me and said, come into the doctor. I want to check you today. And they said, boy, boy you're doing so good. What are you doing? I said, I'm going to church every night. <laughs> I said, I've been going to church. I haven't stopped. I've been going to church. Yeah. I went to the cafe today. They said, where you been all week? I said, I've been in church every night. Yeah. I said, we're, we're having a revival. We're killing giants. My God, the devil. We got him on the run. Woo! Woo! I'm going to encourage you, if you are within 100 miles of the Lindsay, California area, Come to this church. See this man at the Lindsay Church there in Lindsay, California. This is how he is in every service. It doesn't matter if it's a Sunday morning, Sunday night. He brings the Word of God. Like he said, the Word of God is in him. It's got to come out of you. Uh -huh. And when you're a giant slayer, you use that uh -huh. word. And we are honored that you have tuned in today, listening to this program. We wanted you to have a little taste of the anointing of God that flows through this man. This is one of my mentors. This is one of the men that have mentored me, mentored Connie. Connie's not with us in this program today, but we're honored that you've taken time to listen to us. We want you to know that New Life 313 Ministries is rebuilding lives, restoring hope, and renewing vision. And you have purpose, see, and God will bless you. See, the Bible said to lay up treasures in heaven where moss and thieves cannot break through and steal. Yeah. See, church, I have a part of this God's ministry. Yeah. I encourage this brother to stay in, in the preaching of the gospel. I told him, I said, Jay, you have a ministry that the, every church needs your ministry. You, you come and you stir the church up. I'm glad that I have a part of his ministry. Yes, you do. And church, I want you to know today, every soul that he wins is going to be a crown, a jewel in my crown. Yes, I, I will. I'm going to have the biggest crown, brother. Somebody's going to have to help me carry it. <laughs> I'm telling you, every soul you get saved, yeah. you're laying up treasure. My God, you're laying up treasure. I'm about to shout already. Oh, yeah. Wow. Praise God. And oh, we my. want you to have those same treasures, this same anointing that is upon him, that he placed upon me through his prayers, is coming through you. We are here for you to rebuild lives, restore hope, renew vision. And I want you to know, because of God's power and anointing that rests upon him, goes through this to you, God will answer your prayer, and, and God will move in your life. And when closing my, my part, the Bible said God is no respect of person. I don't care what kind of life you live. I don't care how deep in sin you've been. I don't care if you're a prostitute. I don't care if you're a homosexual. Yeah. I don't care if you're an alcoholic. Yeah. I don't care if you're a drug addict. Yeah. Honey, Jesus said, come as you are. And when you come before him, he'll cleanse your life. And my God, he'll put on that wedding garment. All you got to do is say, Lord, here am I. God, I surrender all. Yes. And Jesus will change your life in a Ooh. moment of a twinkle of an eye. That was a good word. God bless you, brother. Father, right now, Lord, we just in thank Jesus you, God, name. for the word, and we thank you for the Jesus answer. Name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Mm, amen. And amen. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Amen. Life God bless you. Come into my heart.